Hello folks, welcome to the first of multiple videos today as I'm trying out a new format and this one is about the Formula E Race at Home Challenge. Round 3 of the actual challenge itself took place today uh, with Kevin Siggy taking a win in the sim racing event and later in the uh, Race at Home Challenge for the Formula E drivers um, we saw Pascal Wehrlein take the victory over Stoffel van Dorn with Maximilian Gunter in third. This meant that Gunter held the championship lead over Wehrlein, who moved up into a stronger kind of second place, and started to close the gap. It's been really interesting, and I was honestly a bit surprised that they went back to Monaco, given the fact that they had done Monaco for the pre-season event, but now it means they've done all three of the kind of licensed tracks, uh, with the dockyards and the Hong Kong circuit in the first three weeks of the proper championship itself. There are some amazing R Factor 2 mods which bring in the actual Formula E circuits in some way, shape or form. I love, for example, the Tempelhof one, though um, I decided for this one I was going to be trying out Valencia because that's where they do their pre-season testing, which I also would be surprised if they went to for the for the actual events as well. That said, the mods are really good. Um, for example, the one of uh, Diria was quite fun to use. But I'm talking too much about that instead of focusing on the actual event itself. Uh, the sim racing one went off without many major collisions. You saw a few people uh, getting lost in the way into the swimming pool section. Um, but at the same time, the actual Formula E event had a massive pile up on lap one on the run down from Santa Vot, and that was hectic to say the very least. There were so many people caught up in it to believe both the Tachitas were, um, I think maybe even both the Jaguars as well. But I don't know. It's it's. A lot better this time around compared to in the preseason where they only had 20% damage. At 80%, you see people thinking a bit more about um, the ramifications that these collisions could have, which I think is quite a good thing because it means that you know they're not necessarily going to just be punting each other or just bouncing off the walls like they were in the preseason. And it's meant that there's been a bit more kind of professionalism in the um, Formula E pack. I've really been enjoying the Race at Home Championship. It's been something that's been quite fun to sit down and watch, and it's a nice replacement for Formula E at this time. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you again soon, because I'm going to be doing a report for the Race's All-Star Series later today. I'm also going to be delivering my own Song of the Week, and tomorrow I'm going to be doing one, maybe two live streams, a virtual Grand Prix report, and celebrating 300 weeks of daily video content. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye for now.